What's going on Warriors? It's your boy Lionheart And um Oh boy What a crazy story man A sad story in the end A rocket buster Oh man So I did do a video on the 18th of October when Jason Stryer from Bloomberg did an investigative piece where he exposed that Helena Taylor actually got offered 15,000 minimum to reprise her role as Benetta, where he put details that she was offered a certain amount. She said she was worth more. Uh, Platinum Games came back and said to her, okay, we definitely want you back. So they offered her 5,000 more. And she said it was only 4,000 she was offered. She said she was offered an offer. She didn't like it. And they came back with 4,000. Making it sound like she was offered a low amount and then 4,000 was the highest amount they were going to pay her. Jason Schreier, in his report, said they offered to her a, I think it was $3,000 to $4,000 for five sessions. I didn't do a video on that because I knew there was going to be more, right? You've essentially called, this woman has caused a massive uproar in the whole video game industry with her video. You go on her Twitter, the video has got like almost 11 million views, yeah? Got 10.9, probably 11 at the moment of me recording this video. Today is the 25th of October. And the video she posted originally was um, October 15th, right? Video's got like something crazy, like almost a quarter of a million um, likes on it, right? Incredible what she was saying. Turns out, she was deceiving us. She sent us all to fight for her. A fight based on a lie. Crazy. So in Jason Stryer's report, he said that he got in contact with Platinum Games. And Platinum Games were able to show him evidence that they offered her. Fifth, up to 15,000 minimum to replace her role in Bayonetta. She said in her video that she was offered, she was given an offer, she refused it, and then she asked for more, and the offer that she was given was 4,000. That's how she made it sound in her video. But that's not what happened. She was offered 10,000, she said she was um, worth more. Platinum Games said, we definitely want you back for Bayonetta. We like you. Then they offered her an extra 5,000, which is where we got this number of 15,000, right? And then she is coming on her Twitter, right? This is after Jason Schreier has reported that she was offered really 15 in total. 15,000. And she said... That it has come to her attention that some people are calling her a liar and a gold digger. And she said, I feel the need to defend myself and my reputation in the industry. And then she put C. Fred. And then she's put a number of tweets. This is on the 25th of October, right? And she has posted... On the part of her free videos. And she said that she explained. That the first offer was too low. The first offer was 10,000. Which Jason Schreier. Managed to find out from Platinum Games. She never said that. She always said in her first video. That she was offered an offer. She never said the number. Okay. And she said. I explained that the offer was too low. That offer was $10,000. 
Now she's confirming what Jason Schreier had reported. And then she put, remember, this is a $400 million franchise, right? And, you know, looking into it more, the number of $400 million, that is an imaginary number that she just plucked out of thin air, right? Because there's no record of the official sales of Bayonetta. Then she put, she contacted Hideki Kamiya in Japanese, asking for what she thought she was worth. And then this, and her next tweet, she put, I thought that I was a creative. Um, that as a creative, sorry, he would understand. And he replied saying how much he valued my contribution to the game and how much the fans wanted to hear my voice in the game. I was then offered an extra 5,000. She never said this before. She's only saying this now because Jason Schreier on the 18th of October reported all of this. And by the way, Jason Schreier and his story was corroborated by, um, I think it was two one other source and another person said that they heard the same thing, but they didn't see the visual evidence of the 15,000 offer that was given to her. He just heard about it. But Jason Schreier and another reporter, they did see this because they got in contact with Patnam Games regarding this directly. Okay. She said she declined. And then she heard nothing for 11 months. And then she was offered a flat fee. Of $4,000. You never said any of that. She literally cut. To the point. In her video. That has got 11 million views. I declined. The offer that they gave me. First of all. Because it was too low. And then they offered me a final offer. Of $4,000. That's what she said in her original video. That is what all this ruckus is about. That is what the uproar is all about. And then she put some other words, which doesn't mean anything. She put any other lies such as 4,000 for four sessions is a total fabrication, right? And what Jason Schreier reported was 3,000 to 4,000 for five sessions. That is what Jason Schreier initially put in his report, right? Minimum of 15,000. Because if you do the maths, 3 times 5, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, that is 15,000. Now, of course, there's tax, so she's not exactly going to get 15,000. But the offer that she was going to be paid was 15,000 thousand at least look they could have put it up more in the range of twenty thousand but just that there's no confusion a minimum of fifteen thousand minimum okay and then she put there were no extensive negotiations i also have been informed that a ridiculous of uh, basically she ridiculous um, a ridiculous um Report that she asked for $250,000, right? Nobody reported that number. They did say that she wanted a six-figure sum and residuals. That was report in the report, but there was no specific number. She is saying $250,000, and that is a very specific amount which basically says to me that's the number that she asked for that she had in mind because nobody said that number okay and she said i'm a team player and she was just asking for a fair living wage i mean she, you offered fifteen thousand at least that is at least three times more than what other people for voice actors are getting paid today so even though i still don't think that's enough but whatever right that's still an incredibly generous offer in comparison to what everybody else is getting paid in the video game voice industry and anime industry just the voice 
actors, right, that are of Helena's level, are being offered. So she basically she has thrown away fifteen thousand dollars just to lie. She's never gonna work in voice acting ever again. She's broken NDA. She's lied, manipulated, and deceived, right? She's destroyed her reputation, destroyed her name, just ruined her credibility. Like, what was it all for? Just to lie? It's crazy to me. I really am baffled by Helena Taylor, man. It's so disappointing simply because she's the voice actor of Bayonetta. It's so disappointing. And she also put, um, she could not talk about the game because of NDAs. But you already have. You've already broken the NDA by talking about this in the first place. Come on, man. Right, and then she put some other tweets that are not really relevant to anything. She's just waffling on. And the last tweet she put, um, the second from last tweet, she put, I will post 14 charities that you could donate to because she's still telling people to boycott the game, right? And then she's saying, instead of buying this game from corrupt, greedy people, also, there are people who are attempting to throw shade and discredit what I say. Essentially, she's saying that to Jason Schreier, the other, and the uh, two other reporters that contacted Platinum Games and actually got evidence, which they saw the evidence, and she's basically confirming what they have reported. But either way, Jason Schreier contacted her on the 18th of October to say, what is your part of the story? She said Platinum Games were lying about the $15,000 that they offered her. To cover their asses. That's what she said. But now, on the 24th October, she's basically confirming what he reported. So it's very, very, very clear that she is deceiving and she's lying. Like, this is crazy to me. And she's saying that the industry is powerful. They have powerful journalists too. And in her last tweet, she said they are trying to save their assets. Don't fall for it. Now, look, she is right. Most of the time, these corporations, they are lying. They are deceiving. They are trying to turn us against each other. And they are manipulative. This is correct. But not today. Not today. Not in this case, they're not. You are the one that's lying. Why? You've ruined everything. This is your job, Elena Taylor. Like, I'm so baffled by her. You've thrown away your um, a $15,000 um, contract. She could have made so much money. a springboard you could have used this opportunity to do more with your career and if you look at what she's done right since Bayonetta she really hasn't done much man like she's done Bayonetta and then she's played Bayonetta in Anarchy Reigns she's played Bayonetta in Bloody Fate um, which was the anime. She played Bayonetta in Bayonetta 2. And she played Bayonetta in Smash Brothers. And uh, Smash Brothers for the 3DS. That's it. Her career for almost 10 years. Yeah, for 10 years, basically. Has been Bayonetta. Why is uh, somebody... Who's got such a good voice acting ability from Bayonetta. Only been in Bayonetta for like the past 10 years. It's crazy. And might I add to that point. For 8 years she hasn't done anything. The last job she did was um, Smash Brothers for the Wii U. 
in 2014. Ah. She's ruined it. She's ruined it, man. And she showed that she's a liar, man. And the fact that she sent everybody, basically, to fight for her, to defend her. And she was lying. She knew that she was lying and deceiving us because she knew we would take her side. Now you're no longer Bayonetta. You've thrown away your payday. What for? And to be honest, right, when she first did her video on the 15th of October, I didn't like the fact that when she did that initial video... And it got, it's got 11 million views now, right? And she posted a video after that, right? The next day of her saying, the calm after the storm. Hashtag morning walk, right? Walking in a nice, beautiful park, looking at swans in a lake. So while we are out here... Defending you, seeing how you've been wronged, you are basically just ignoring everything, being at peace, being at calm, while we are all wound up that you are telling us that you have been screwed over. Come on now. Oh, the other two reporters was one reporter was Andy Robinson. Right, and on his Twitter, it says that he is owner and editor of VGC News. Right, he's the one that saw the evidence from Platinum Games as well. And there's another guy called Stephen Tortillo. I'm probably assassinating that guy's name. Sorry, my bad. But he said that, but he put on the 18th that he heard as well the story from a good source about 15, um, the 15k offer that um, Helena Taylor was offered, right? So yeah, that was it, man. That's the reason I didn't do a story after that. Like after the whole event, I didn't do another video when... Jason Shry did his report because I was waiting for Elena Taylor to reply to it because she can't not reply and she has and in her reply essentially what she has done is she has confirmed the report shown that she's manipulative deceitful liar it's crazy to me being a voice actress she literally could do no wrong. And she turned out to do the most wrong. And she made everybody look stupid. Everyone that rushed to her aid, her aid looked stupid. Everyone that sided with her looked stupid. Everybody that got at Hideki Kamiya looks stupid. Everybody looks Stupid. All because of a lie. We got played. It's like we got wound up like toys. Aimed in the direction of um, every, uh, Platinum Games and Hideki you know, and Nintendo. And then let go. That's literally what happened to millions of people. I mean, I did not partake in the abuse. Of Hideki Kamiya. But as I said. In my video. Right when I put Bayonetta. Um, dead on arrival. DOA. I saw the comments. I saw him getting nuked. And his response. It didn't make him look any better. Because he's out here calling people insects. And saying you've been warmed. Beware of my rules. He was not helping the situation. By being like that. Everybody was in the wrong. And it turns out he's in the right. And now, his it's like his Twitter has changed. It's like now he's being nice. Now he's putting out tweets where he's peeps on putting like good morning. And he does jokes on his Twitter. 
And he's putting nice tweets, actually, out on his Twitter. If you go to Hideki Kamiya's tweet. And that is essentially because he knows... Because basically, the tweets, they, they broke him a bit. So now he's become super humble. And he knows he has to be good. Because he tried to put out Bayonetta 3. And the amount of the tsunami of vitriol and bullying and hatred that came towards him because of Helena Taylor's lie, it broke him. And he doesn't want any more of it anymore. He see he learned the hard way you can't beat the internet. I didn't partake, I didn't say nothing. I said what I had to say in my video and that was it. And because of how I felt he did Helena Taylor wrong, I delighted in the people going at him. Not um not and people weren't being like nasty, like death threats or any of that kind of rubbish. But people say stuff like pay your actors, pay your actors, you know, and stuff like that. And that's the kind of the memes. There was a lot of memes and stuff like that. But the mean stuff. I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was just scrolling past those because I'm not into it. That's the reason um, when Helena Taylor did her newest um, tweet, right, I replied to it, you know. And when I replied to her one, you know, I personally said, what did I say? I can't, I can't find my tweet, but I did say... Something along the lines of, you lied. You sent us to fight for you. And it was all based on a lie. And it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. If anything, she has given Bayonetta more publicity. Bayonetta is probably going to do even better. Because of her trying to sink Bayonetta. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. She's actually helped it more than her initial attempt to hurt it. So it's going to do more. And it's just crazy to me. It's crazy. So yeah, that's the end of that. That's all I really wanted to say about um, this whole story. It's over. There's no more that can be said. Stick a fork in it. We're all going to buy, buy Bayonetta. We're all going to play Bayonetta. Um, there is no more controversy. Um, it has brought up the topic of pay for voice actors. Right? That they don't get paid enough. Which is true. This clearly shows that. But she was going to get paid 15000 And that's significantly more than what. 99% of voice actors are paid to this current day, right? So she was going to get paid a big amount compared to. So, um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Voice actress Helena Taylor found out that she was lying, being deceitful, manipulative, wound us up. Like toys aimed us at Nintendo and um, Platinum Games and sent us to fight for her. A fight based on a lie. She got exposed by by proper investigative journalism. And then she came back literally with more deceit. But in being trying to be deceitful, she had to admit what the uh, journalists had exposed about her. And now she has nuked her own career gone she will never work in video games again she broke nda she lied to tens of millions of people and even in doing that she's made nintendo and platinum games look even better and bayonet is probably going to do significantly better than it was going to do originally so let's all go bye bayonet have a good time and that is the end so, Warriors, I want to say thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Until my next video, take care, stay blessed, and catch you in the next one. Laters.